for more perspective on the 9-11 terror warning, we are joined by our national security analyst, Juan Zarate. Juan, good evening to you. Good evening, Russ. Based on your experience, what do you make of this threat? Well, it's very hard to read at this point. I think the lack of corroboration of this very specific, incredible threat can be read different ways. Intelligence is often more art than science. But I think we have to remember the context here. Authorities are worried that al-Qaeda would try to attack on 9-11 based on what we saw in the, the compound that bin Laden was found in. Uh, authorities are worried about uh, retaliation for the death of bin Laden. And so they have to take this seriously, even though it's not being corroborated yet. Let's talk about al-Qaeda 10 years after 9-11. Is al-Qaeda that strong today? Could it pull off a big attack like it did 10 years ago? Much less capable of, of doing a 9-11 style attack. Al-Qaeda core has been decimated. It's weakened. Its finance is constricted. Morally, theologically, much less relevant and popular in, uh, throughout the Middle East. Uh, but the problem is you have the rise of affiliates, groups like al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula and Yemen, uh, that present now a threat to the United States. We remember the underwear bomber, the failed mm -hmm. attack on Detroit. That that is an example of these affiliates trying to hit the West. And of course you have individuals who are inspired to attack on their own. The, the lone wolves, the radicalized individuals. All of that is part of now the new threat landscape that we have to worry about. Very quickly, Juan, a lot of Americans are asking today, are we safer today than we were 10 years ago? What do you think? Absolutely, we have to remember not only that uh, we're safer today, but that we've had a decade of disrupted plots, a decimation of al-Qaeda itself, and a much weaker uh, al-Qaeda enemy today than on 9-11. Okay. Juan Zarate, as always, thanks a lot. Thanks, Russ.